Boris Johnson will not attend the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral to allow for the attendance of as many family members as possible during coronavirus restrictions, Number 10 has confirmed. The Duke of Edinburgh's ceremonial royal funeral will take place on Saturday, April 17 at 3 p.m. in St. George Chapel, Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace said. It will be a royal ceremonial funeral as expected and will be televised. The Prime Minister was understood to have been expected to attend the ceremony for Philip by the royals, but offered to step aside with the number of guests allowed limited to 30. However, a number 10 spokesperson said, as a result of the coronavirus regulations, only 30 people can attend the funeral of HRH the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. The Prime Minister has throughout wanted to act in accordance with what is best for the royal household, and so to allow for as many family members as possible will not be attending the funeral on Saturday. The Times political editor Tim Shipman said Mr. Johnson was invited, but has chosen not to attend due to the limited amount of seats. He tweeted, Boris Johnson will not attend the funeral of Prince Philip, he was due to but the guest list is limited to 30 people and the PM has stood aside to give more space for family and friends. Just 30 people will attend, instead of 800 as originally planned, a full guest list has yet to be announced, but it will be formed of the Queen, and the monarch and Philip's children and grandchildren. Other relatives might also attend including the Queen's cousins, the Duke's private secretary Archie Miller Bakewell, who has held the post for 11 years, will also be present. It was also reported earlier today that Prince Harry will fly from the U.S. for the funeral, but pregnant Meghan Markle will stay behind after being given advice from a doctor. Speaking from his Gloucestershire home this evening, Highgrove Prince Charles also issued an emotional tribute to his dear papa. He said, I particularly wanted to say that my father, for I suppose the last 70 years, has given the most remarkable, devoted service to the Queen, to my family and to the country, but also to the whole of the Commonwealth. As you can imagine, my family and I miss my father enormously. He was a much loved and appreciated figure and apart from anything else, I can imagine, he would be so deeply touched by the number of other people here and elsewhere around the world and the Commonwealth, who also I think, share our loss and our sorrow. My dear Papa was a very special person who I think above all else would have been amazed by the reaction and the touching things that have been said about him and from that point of view we are, my family, deeply grateful for all that. It will sustain us in this particular loss and at this particularly sad time. Thank you. While Charles spoke for the family, his siblings visited the Queen, with the Duke of York and Princess Royal spotted at Windsor. The Earl and the Countess of Wessex spent around an hour with the Queen at the castle, with a tearful Sophie telling reporters as she left, the Queen has been amazing. Philip's wishes are the driving force behind the funeral plans, and on the day his coffin will be transported from the castle to the chapel in a specially modified Land Rover he helped to design, and followed by the Prince of Wales and senior royals on foot, a palace official said. The coffin will be covered by the Duke's personal standard together with his naval cap and sword and a wreath of flowers.